What's up guys, Dan here. Today, video that has been long overdue, like a month and a half overdue. And that's my summer loadout. You know I love to change out my kit every single season, but this year it was pretty hard. Like, it was a tough one for me. Okay, so you know every single season I like to change out my kit, and there's several reasons for that. Um, number one, I like gear. I think everybody loves to play with their gear and adjust their gear and change up their gear and try to get that perfect kit built. And secondly, it gives me great insight to different questions that people raise to me around packing out their gear and why they should carry this and they're carrying that and what do I think about this and all, all those questions. So as an instructor, it's good to constantly change that stuff up because then I realize real quickly what's good, what's bad, what you can use, what you really don't need, all those things, all those questions get answered for me. Plus, did I say that we all love playing with gear so it's fun to change it up. Now this is where I've been struggling though. If you watch my videos and you know every season I change up my gear, I've been using my Filson pack that's been very close to the same loadout for the last three seasons. And um, I really had to force myself, like I really had to force myself to ditch that because for me, I feel like I almost reached that pinnacle of perfection with what was in that bag. I can take it on YouTube shoots, I can take it just family camping, I can take it out just to bushcraft, I can just take it out for a day hike and everything was there. Like I felt like I knew where everything was and I got super comfortable with it. But again, ah, just, I gotta back away from it. So I had to build something else out. And that's the 2001 Summer Bushcraft Kit. <sighs> Look at this. That looks bushcrafty, right? Awesome. Now, if you've been following me and you've ever seen this backpack before, you have been following me for a long time. That has been back in the days of probably GoPro, like bad audio, Dan's rambling on too long, craziness, which I'm rambling on too long. I know you want to get into this kit, so let's uh, let's lay it out and check this thing out. Okay, so the first thing you're probably going to notice with this is the pack itself. You're probably wondering what kind of pack is that. So th this is an awesome bushcraft pack. Um, when I bought it eight, nine years ago, very reasonably priced. I haven't priced these things recently, but these are an Italian military rucksack. They're made of heavy canvas. They have a lot of good features for bushcraft. They have one big center compartment, um, two sides that you can stow away the gear that you're gonna need to access a little bit more quickly. And there are enough tie out features to be able to put a bedroll underneath like I have. And then you're gonna see I have a shovel on the front here. So a lot of good features on this. Now. I'm a little bit bigger of a guy. I'm 6'3", 230 pounds, broad. <laughs> um, these straps are wide enough on my back, but they are short, meaning the length is not really, really long. So um, I have to struggle a little bit to get into the pack, meaning the arm loop isn't big enough to get in. Once it's on, it fits perfect. Um, in the winter time, this pack is a little bit too tight for me. So I'll just put that out there, but you could really easily make extensions for this. There'd be no problem with it whatsoever. Um, now let's bust into the pack itself though. So before we open it up, what you're gonna notice on the bottom of this pack is I got my bedroll. Bedroll's a little bit different than it's been. So with the tie outs, um, I just have some heavier lacing on here, um, just tied on really easily. And that holds this underneath, okay? Um, I have my wool blanket, so this thing is the wool blank that we sell. I like it, works all seasons, real great. Now, the downfall with the wool blank in the summer is that it gets super hot out sometimes, and it's a little too much. But there's times when it's really hot during the day and the temperature cools down a little bit and it gets chilly. So you're gonna want maybe something a little bit warmer. That's why I went with this. Now, inside, I have two other things. So as I roll this out, the first thing you're gonna notice is that I have this brown towel, okay? It's actually a... Um, bath towel that I just literally cut in half here. You can see it's all frayed out. The reason I carry this in the summertime is I'm a huge fan of being able to jump in a stream or if I'm here at the school property in the pond in the morning or the evening, refresh myself and I can dry myself off. If I'm not doing anything else, I just fold this thing up and I got myself a pillow. So it works uh, twofold. What I also have in here is one of our canvas sleep covers. Now, why I like to carry this, it's a little bit lighter of a blanket, and on those really, really hot nights when the wool blanket is just not gonna cut it, 
I have a thinner blanket. And I'm sure some of you will know what I mean when I say this. I have a terrible time sleeping if I can't cover myself with something. So this um, is a little bit heavier than just a normal bed sheet. Um, so it's gonna provide a little bit more warmth. They get better with age as you um, use them. And um, it's just nice and light. So I like to carry this thing along with me when I'm out here. Now, before we bust through this thing, because um, I usually like to work from the outside in, um, I do want to just stick with sleep gear for a second. So tucked away in the back, I have my gum blanket, which a gum blanket is circa Civil War era, okay? Canvas, and then the backside is like a rubberized vinyl. Um, this is great for laying down on wet grounds. It keeps you dry. Um, it's based off of the design around the Civil War, so they're cut to that size, they're good, they're rustic looking, um, and it's enough to keep your body, um, if your feet hang off a little bit, that's fine. It's really just to keep your body dry and not get you soaking wet when you're laying on a wet ground. So this thing, nice traditional super bush crafty. So I keep that in there. Um, and then I just have a green T60. Easy to set up, um, fast to set up, and once I get everything else on the ground, um, if I need to and I wanna sleep out, um, nice clean night, not gonna rain. I don't have to put this thing up. And if it does start to rain, I can set this up fast. So um, that's where we're thinking about when we build these kits out, think of that integration between survival, bushcraft, and just outdoor lifestyle. Where do things fit in? I don't have to pull a big tarp out um, because we know them rain showers come on like this in the summertime. I could just pull out something nice, light, quick, set it up, stay dry, and then get back on the move. So that's why I have that built in. Now let's cover this thing back up and work from the outside in. Um, so like I said, these packs, they have two large sides, okay, on each one. Um, they're pretty bare right now, and I'm going to tell you why in a second. Um, let's start with this side. This side, all I have in here is just literally just a small water flask. I can put a bigger bottle in here. I could put a metal bottle in here. Sometimes I carry my Grail water filter in here. It all fits, um, but in the summer, you're going to usually want to drink a lot more fluids. So I keep something in that side. That I literally rotate in and out. It just so happens I have a plastic flask in there now, okay? And then what I have on the other side here is literally just this. It's the Gerber Double Down. It's the folding machete. We did the video that we built a survival shelter with just this thing not too long. Well, it was the winter time. Um, we built it with just this. Um, why I'm carrying this right now is the brush gets a little bit thicker through the summertime. Sometimes you got to clear out some thorns, you got to clear out some roots, stuff like that, because you're going to be sleeping right on the ground, probably no debris bed at this time of the year. So I can use something like this. I can also split down some wood if I would need to, which I find in the summer I don't split all that much wood. That's why um, you don't see an ax put in this kit specifically. Sometimes I still carry it with my haversack. Majority of the time, um, I'm just using something like this. Plus I'm getting, again, that experience of, does this thing work and should we be using this Eastern Woodlands summertime? Yeah, so far. All right, now it's time to bust to the inside, but first, what you notice was I have this shovel on the outside. Again, this pack has the built-in um, different carriers here, so it works really nice with these shovels. This is not a cold steel shovel. This is what the cold steel shovels were based off of from the military. This is an actual military one. Um, it is stamped 1943, so it's an oldie, okay? Um, I usually don't carry a shovel around all that often, but I will say I'm enjoying using it around camp. So if I have to dig down a fire pit or get some dirt to put a fire out, um, especially with the real dry season, um, this thing has been coming in handy. Also for pooping, dig a little hole rather than a stick, works great. So I've been carrying this around, and I'm gonna say I, I'm actually enjoying it. Oh, and then one more thing, we'll just dig down here. Um, we were on water earlier, right? You're like, well, Dan only has a plastic container. What's he gonna do? Um, I do have just a titanium cup here, okay, um, with a bale on it. So I can hang this over the fire. I can boil water. I can cook some stuff in it. We're gonna talk about cooking here in a minute, but um, I just got this thing. Plus, if I make some coffee, I'm good to go. All right, now, the rest of my pack, um, there is room if I need rain gear, if I want to put a first aid kit, some extra clothing, um, any of that stuff. Um, but what I've done with the remaining gear is I literally bagged it all. Meaning, I just have, and I know, you have to know what each bag's for, okay? But I have four different bags in here. They're all organized by um, utility, meaning fire, cordage, um, tools, stuff, and I'm gonna go through all them with you. But we do have these four bags just set in here, so they organize really nice and neat. 
um, slid down to my pack. Yeah, it adds a little bit of extra weight, but the organization, unstoppable, okay? So, but before we go through these, um, one last thing that I have been using here is, um, you know, I'm ambassador for Yuko, so I like to use their gear and try out their different stuff. I get a ton of questions about portable grills and stoves. Okay, and part of that reason is there are going to be places you travel and go to that you can't start a big campfire. Okay, um, and I even know myself sometimes around here, I mean, it's been raining in Pennsylvania for the last week, so we finally got a break in it, but it was really dry before that. Um, so even when you start a fire, you really had to be careful and the wind would pick up a little bit. And you're like, Ugh, what's going on? So they make these things called a flat pack. Um, there's different sizes. This one is brand new, so don't think I'm one of them gear reviewers that don't use their gear. I just put this in here because I didn't have a small one and I got one. I've been using the larger one when I'm out, so I'm excited to use this smaller one um, and actually see what's up. So this thing just opens up um, real quickly and easily like this, and then you can cook with it. It comes with a grill grate and everything. So I have this thing built in. Um, to my kit so I can start my fire in here. It's more contained. And in the summertime, I usually like to just grill something up a lot quicker than actually making stews and carrying a bunch of stuff in. So you just do this, you can still make your fire inside and you're still good to go. So I'm excited about that. Um, maybe we'll do some videos on it. But yeah, so I have that along to work with that and see how it all plays out. All right, now on to all these bags. What I could tell you is I have my fire starting kit. I have my repair kit. I have my tool kit, and then I have my cordage. Okay, let's start with the fire kit. Um, this fire kit, I have just a whole bunch of stuff thrown in here. There's no rhyme or reason with it, really. Um, just have a lot of fire starting options to play around with when I'm in the field. So I have a small bag. I have my um, flint and steel striker in here, a couple extra pieces of flint. And then, of course, to go along with that, I have my char tin. Okay, so I have that whole kit to go. Um, I also have magnification lens stowed away in there um, to play around with some solar ignition all right I also have wow I don't even know everything I have in here I have some extra material that I can char really easily okay I have some um, emergency matches so this thing's loaded out with matches okay wow there are not too many matches in there all right but we got some matches um, I got some homemade fire starters in here I got my lighter and I also got a ferro rod so I got a lot of different stuff going on here. Um, real simple, real easy. All right, next bag is just a bag with some um, utility line, which this is a little bit different than Paracord. The inside is not strands. Um, I don't really think them strands are all that exciting anyway. Um, so I've been playing around with this, something different to just test out. And then of course, bank line. All right, next I have our repair kit. Um, the same stuff that we have in there, I added a couple extra things. Um, I did add in, so this is like a fingernail toenail set, okay? Which sounds crazy, because you're like, this bushcraft guy's carrying fingernail clippers. The thing is, when you're working a lot, especially summertime, a lot of dirt under your nails because you don't have gloves on, um, your feet are sweaty, uh, maybe something happened with your toenails, you need to make sure you're keeping all your fingers and toes clean and not infected. Um, if you jam something up underneath there and get all that dirt and you get infected, trips over. So try to keep yourself nice and organized and clean with that um, when you're out. So I look at that as I'm gonna repair myself, right? I have a sharpening stone, keep my knives nice and sharp. I have some scissors, some gear lube, some thread, in case I gotta sew anything up, some sinew, a gimlet for drilling holes, utility blade and chisel, okay. I have an awl, which in the back of this awl um, is actually pretty cool. You unscrew it and there's screwdrivers in here, different size screwdrivers and stuff. So that was an, a find at an old uh, junk store. And then um, this is a match, a marbles match case, okay, an original one, but what I have in here is a bunch of needles. So I store all my extra needles inside here. And then last thing is um, tools in another bag, okay? So what I do carry along with me, because I grill a lot in the summer, is a spice kit. So I have different spices along with me. So I like that thing. Um, I have a headlamp. This is actually, so it's an Olight, but this is the flashlight that has that 
hat clip. So what you can really easily do is take your hat and you just slide this on the front like that and you're good to go. Fork and spoon in case I need it. And then um, last but not least, a multi-tool. So I got, of course, all the multi-tool components in here. This is a Gerber um, multiplier, so um, that's what I got. And just like that, the summer 2001 loadout is complete. Now, like I've said, I had a hard time switching over because I loved my other kits so much, but it's always a good thing to change things up and have fun with it, right? And play with your gear, um, see what you like, what you don't like, and then maybe go back and readdress that old kit that you loved so much. So this is what I've been rolling with now for the last three weeks. Um, I did family camping trip, solo camping trip. I've been at the cabin with it, and I've just been out um, shooting some YouTube videos and stuff, and I do like it. So um, I'm gonna stick with it for the rest of the summer and see what's up. But this is my gear loadout. Um, if you have any questions about it, um, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, and uh, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button. I really appreciate that, the little notification bell. I'm also on Instagram at Dan Wowak. Um, so I do some more bushcraft stuff on there, some lifestyle stuff. You get to know me a little bit more. And um, yeah, it's all good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video, 2021 summer loadout, all done. So um, get your gear together, get out, camp, enjoy the outdoors. And until the next video, hey, stay in the woods.